Okay. Hello, people. Hello, Kieran. Hello, Judith. Hello, Hi. Instagram. <laughs> I'm so very Okay. Okay, I will unmute you, Kieran, so that there's no distractions. It's working. All right. So the idea today is that we'll do a strong practice. There's always modifications, so if you feel like taking it gently today, that's always an option. At the same time, I'll give you options uh, with the wall so that you can play a bit with inversions if you'd like. But again, if it sounds scary, don't worry. I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. All right, I think you have a good... Yeah, you can see me. Perfect. Just giving it a minute for people to get the message that we're live. Okay. So today we'll have a 50-55 minute practice. That's the idea. Sometimes I go over time, but I'll try to keep it within time because Instagram cuts me off and then people lose the end of the session, so we don't want that. We want to connect with our strength today. So the element is fire, and we want to find our navel center. We want to keep the awareness throughout the practice that we're sucking lower belly in and lifting up, and through that strength of our core, we'll be able to do all the crazy poses and to keep our body safe while feeling that fire that we need, especially if we're sitting all day at home, this is the opportunity to shake it up a bit. So we'll start right away uh, on our feet. You want to stand with your feet hip distance apart, pull your shoulders all the way up to your ears, then pull them all the way back and all the way down. Keep your shoulder blades down the back and then find the top back of your skull and reach it back and up towards the sky. And then holding those engagements, find your feet. Find the big toe mounds and the pinky toe mounds of both feet and press them down strongly. You can choose to lift your toes up and spread your toes wide and that forces those points on the ball of the feet to press down. Then slowly bring your toes down, but keep pressing down into big toe mounts, keep pressing down into pinky toe mounts. And then find the heels, the heel bones, and press down to the center of each heel bone. Pressing down to those three points of each foot, feel the lift from the inner arches of the feet, Feel a lift from the outer arches of the feet and feel a lift from the diagonal arches at the top of the feet. Keep focusing on the feet of the inner arches, lift up and through that lift, feel a lift from the perineum, from the cervix for the women, lift up towards the lower belly. Suck your lower belly in and lift it up away from the pubis. And exhale, keep your ribcage in as you're lifting everything up. Keep your arms back, hands open, and lift up through the back of the skull while relaxing the muscles of the face. Take a moment to connect with your breath, to connect with your fire in your breath, with your strength through the breath.
You can choose to constrict the lower part of the throat to make an ocean-like sound. Victorious breathing, Ujjaya breath, skull shining breath. If it's too much for you to continue the practice with that victorious breath, just make sure that your breath is steady, long, deep, and continuous. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, but keep lifting up through the lower belly. Keep sucking lower belly in and up, feel that fire there. We'll start our practice with some uh, Acne Sara, with some Udhyana Banda engagements, with some stomach lock engagements. So you'll open up the feet a bit wider apart. You'll bend your knees, stick your hips back and lift your sit bones up. And then from there, exhale, round your back. So exhale all the air out of the mouth. Press down to the heels and lift pelvic floor up while sucking lower belly in and up. You want to feel like you're creating a vacuum below the ribs. And then first relax the ribs and then inhale. So we'll go four more times. Exhale, press into the feet. Let all the air out, empty the lungs of air. And then imagine that you're inhaling without inhaling. Suck everything in and out. And relax and inhale. Three more. Exhale. Let all the air out. Round through the back, pull shoulder blades down, press into the feet. Suck lower belly in and up. First relax and then inhale. Two more. Exhale. All the way out. Really press down into the heels. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze all the muscles down there and lift up. Relax the belly. Inhale. Last one. Really feel the fire at the lower belly. Exhale. Pull our belly in, lift up. Even if nothing happens, keep feeling that fire. Keep sucking it all in and And first exhale, first relax, and then inhale. Come back to standing. Bring your hands in a downward facing triangle and place that triangle in front of the belly button. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Connect to that deep core strength. Place your right palm in front of your belly button and place your left palm at your lower back. Press down into your feet, lift up through the pelvic floor, lift up through the back of the skull. Exhale, really ground yourself down through the feet, but keep lifting up through the crown of the head. Inhale for OM. Keep your hands where they are and chant your OM. Relax your arms by your sides. Come to the front of your mat. Feet together or hip distance apart. Stand up tall and stand still. Observe how you're feeling. And then charge those feelings up with more fire, with more strength, with more energy. No matter what you're telling yourself about how you're feeling, convince yourself that for the next 50 minutes or so, you'll be strong, you'll be powerful, you'll be on fire. Press down into the feet, reach up through the back of the skull and get ready for some salutations. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, bring the arms up, reach up, gaze up, and exhale, fold over the legs. Suck lower belly in, lift sit bones up to the sky. 
Inhale, pick up the chest, keep your lower belly in, lift up through the chest, and exhale, chaturanga. Walk back, bring knees down, elbows in, and keep the chest coming forward. Press down into the knuckles, inhale for upward facing dog, press down into the feet, reach up through the chest, through the chin, and exhale, downward facing dog. Press down to the arms, strong straight arms, widen the shoulder blades and send the sit bones up. Five breaths here. Keep the lower belly in, the rib cage closed, lift it all up towards the chin. Four, four. If you need to lift the heels, bend the knees, really and curl the tailbone up, send sit bones up to the sky, and then start straightening the legs again. Four, three. Keep pressing down into the arms, strong straight arms, widen the shoulder blades. Four, two, reconnect with your breath. Don't lose your breath, Ujjaya or not, keep breathing. Four, one, bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, and then exhale forwards. Bring all the weight forward, suck your belly in, bring chest towards the feet. Press both of the feet down, inhale, rise up, reach up, gaze up, and then exhale, arms by your sides. Beautiful, one more time. Press pose of the feet down, inhale, bring the arms up, reach up, and then exhale, fold forward. Keep all the weight forward. Keep your lower belly in, suck lower belly in. Inhale, half lift. Feel that fire from the lower belly, reaching forward, and then exhale, walk or hop back, chaturanga, elbows in. You can always bring the knees down. Inhale forward, to so really come forward because before coming up, and exhale back, downward facing dog. In this same, the second down dog, you have the option of already walking your feet up the wall. So you can come to an L shape and breathe there, four or five. If you want to stay with the down dog, wherever you are, down dog or L shape, press into the hands, lift up through the six bones, four, four. Keep your lower belly in and towards the chest. Keep the pubis reaching away from the lower belly, four, three. Keep breathing, strong straight arms. Four, two, and one. Back to your down dog, bend the knees, gaze forward, and inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, exhale, fold. Press both of the feet down, inhale, rise up, and exhale, arms by your side. Surya Namaskar Abhi. Inhale, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, bring the weight back, lift the arms. Exhale, Uttanasana. Fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Keep the lower belly in and reach forward through the belly button. And exhale, chaturanga. Strong arms. Inhale forward. Keep your lower belly away from the pubis. And exhale back. Keep your lower belly away from the pubis. Inhale, right foot forward. Left heel down. Reach the lower belly far up. Chest up. Hands up. And exhale, chaturanga, strong arms, pull belly, bring the weight forward. Inhale forward, press down into the feet, arch the back, and exhale back. Again, strong arms, lift the sit bones up. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one position. Keep the lower belly in and lifting up. And exhale, fall forward, press into the hands, find that fire. Inhale. And exhale. Again, option to stay in down dog. If you want to walk, work with the wall, L shape, and maybe bring one leg up, four or five. Keep the lower belly in and towards the chest and press strongly into the hands, four or four. Widen the shoulder blades and really straighten the elbows, four or three. Straighten the shoulders, straighten both legs, four or two. And one. back to your downward facing dog if you're not there. Bend the knees, gaze forward, and inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, weight on the heels. And exhale, come up, arms by your sides. Open up the feet, keep distance apart. Bring your arms forward and sit back, sit low. Bikram chair, four or five. You can stay higher up or bring the thighs parallel to the ground. Four, four. You want the knees to go back, the lower belly to suck in and lift up. Four, four. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Three. 
to stay with it, press into inner feet and outer feet. And one, push to come up, reach the heels up, all the way up, and then exhale, sit back and sit low. Keep the heels lifted. Four, five. Your belly in and up, knees back, chest up. Four, four. Contract your triceps, really straighten the arms. Four, three. Remember, lower belly reaches away from the cubits. Four, two. And one, press into the feet, lift the heels up, and exhale, heels up. Last one, inhale the heels up, reach up, and then knees together, thighs together, squat down. Maybe you stay high, maybe you come low. If you're coming low, really press the balls of the feet down, feel the thighs working. Four, five. Squeeze thighs together wherever you are. Four, four. Squeeze the lower belly in, lift it up. Four, three. Keep your awareness there with the lower belly. Four, two. Find the fire there, the strength there. Press down into the feet, activate the thighs, and then push to come up. Reach up, exhale, heels down. Hands to the hips. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, fall. Keep the lower belly in. As you fall, grab big toes. Inhale, pick up the chest, Parangustasana. Exhale, fold, bend the elbows, four, five. Remember, you can bend the knees. You want to really uncurl the tailbone and to suck the lower belly uh, towards the chest, four, four. You want the pubis to reach up towards the ceiling. You want the lower belly to reach down towards the ground, four, three. And the challenge is to keep breathing smoothly throughout all these actions. Four, two. And one, press into the feet, inhale, lift up the chest, Parahastasana, exhale, hands under the feet. Inhale, pick up the chest, pull belly in, lift it forward, and exhale, send the pubis back, send the lower belly towards the ground. Four, five. Stay there and breathe. Four, four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, remove the hands, maybe both at the same time, take them to the front of the mat. Take a small step back, and then bring all your weight to the arms. Four, five. This is handstand press, so strong arms. Four, four. Lift up to the tippy toes, pull the belly in, four, three. Send the pubis up, the sit bones up, four, two. Straighten the arms, the elbows, the shoulders. And then exhale, chaturanga. Bend the elbows, bring the shoulders forward. Inhale, forward, press the tops of the feet down, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, push into the hands, and curl the tailbone up, downward facing down. Inhale, the right foot forward, high lunge. Press down into the ball of the left foot, and then, you guessed it, lower belly in, lift up, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, reach up through the index fingers. From here, you'll exhale, just the hands back. Four, five, keep facing forward. Four, lower belly in, ribs in, and then really push the hands back. Four, three. So it's really hard when the ribs are in, the arms want to go forward, and you really want to push back, open the shoulders. Four, two. And one, exhale and twist to the right. Hands to the center of the chest. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back. Four, five. Here's where the belly work is happening. So really suck belly in, lift it up, and twist through the rib cage. Twist through the chest. Four, two. And one, press into the feet. Lower belly in to reach up. And then exhale, straighten the legs, bring the back foot in a hair, and bring your hands on the sheet. Four, five. Lower belly in and forward. We really uncurl the tailbone and fold. Maybe hands go to the ground. Four, four. Again, what's important is the deep distance between the pubis and the lower belly. Four, three. Two. And one, press into the ground, 
pull the belly and really straighten the arms. Bring the back foot all the way back into a plank position, push into the arms, round the back, and use the belly strength to pick up the front foot off the ground and not make any noise as you take it back to full plank. Exhale, fold forward, Chaturanga. You can bring the knees down. Inhale forward first and then up, feel the triceps burning. And exhale, push downward facing dog. Good job. One more side. Inhale, left foot forward, press into the feet, find the fire and lift up. Interlace the fingers the other way, opposite pinky on top, opposite thumb on top. Come a bit lower, pull the belly in, the ribs in, and then push the hands back, four, five. Really open up the shoulders. Four, four, keep the lower belly in, the ribs in, and push back with the hands. Four, three, straighten the arms with the elbows together, the hands together, and push back, four, two, and one. Exhale to the left, hands in a prayer, and place those hands at the center of the chest. Four, five, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back, and then suck lower belly in, Pick it towards the center of the chest. Four, four. Press down into the feet. Feel the right glute reaching forward, the left inner thigh moving back. Four, three. Two. And one. With that fire from the lower belly, reach up. And then exhale, straighten the legs, pyramid fold. Hands to the shin or to the ground. Inhale, and curl the Heart forward and curl the tailbone back and exhale, fold, keeping that length. Four, five. Press down to the right heel, squeeze the right butt cheek forward, and then press down to the left heel and send the left pubis back. Four, four. Side lower belly in and towards the chest, move chest towards the foot. Four, two. And one, press hands onto the ground, push away, bring the back foot into plank position, bend the front knee, round the back, and push into the hands to pick up the front foot without any noise, take it back, exhale, chaturanga, inhale forward, press into all the knuckles, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, downward facing dog. If you need to rest, child's pose. Otherwise, you can come to the wall again and pick up the left foot up this time. So come to an L shape, press into the hands and pick up the left leg. Four, five. Keep the lower belly in, push into the hands. Four, four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly. Downward facing dog. And inhale the right foot forward, warrior two position. Open up the left foot so that it's parallel to the short side of the mat. Press down to the feet, find the deep core action to lift you up. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back, and gaze forward. Four, five. Pericardium stretch. Open up the palms, push away through the palms, pull back through the fingers and gaze at the same direction as the chest. Four, four. Keep pressing down into the feet. Feel a lift from the pelvic floor to the crown of the head. Pull the shoulder blades down. The hands are away from the chest. Four, three. Two. Push a bit more away with the palms and pull a bit more in through the fingers. Four, one. Inhale, come back to your warrior, gaze forward, and exhale, elbow over the knee or any variation of side angle. Relax the head and reach away through the left arm, four, five. Press left outer foot down, feel the left glute picking up, four, four. Pick up the pubis, pick up the chest, and keep straightening the left arm, four, three. Two. And I'm pressing to the feet. Keep the lower belly in and lifting up to help you lift up. Keep the right knee bent and exhale, reverse the water. Hand to the left shin. Press into the feet, stack lower belly in, pick up the chest, four, five. 
four, three, focus and breathe, really breathe from the right hip to the right fingertips, four, two, and one, press into the feet to come back up, trikonasana, straighten the legs, bring the back foot in a hair, reach up through the back of the skull, and exhale, hinge from the hips, feel the lower belly lifting you up, and then bring the hands to the shin. The more you press into the feet, the more you strengthen the legs, four, five. If you want to gaze up, you can gaze back first, and then turn your gaze up, lengthen the neck, four, four. Three, Two, really straighten through the arms and really straighten the legs. And one, press feet down, inhale, come up with grace. Bend the front knee and exhale, windmill the arms down with grace. Back foot into a plank, push into the arms, round the back, and then again, slowly, without noise, bring the foot back. Exhale, you can bring the knees down, Chaturanga. Inhale, forward. Press tops of the feet down, point the feet, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, push, downward facing dog. And curl the tailbone, widen the shoulder blades. Inhale, the left foot forward. Last side, press down into the feet, pick up the chest. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. The more you press down into the feet, the more you'll feel the lift through the perineum, through the cervix. Pick up the back of the skull. And then open up the palms, gaze, at the same direction as the chest, push away through the palms, pull back through the fingers. Focus and breathe. And on pressing to the feet, come back to your strong warrior and exhale, side angle. Stay curious, stay present, keep the lower belly in, pick up the chest and breathe. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back and reach away through the right fingertips. Press down into the outer right foot. Lift the glutes up, lift the pubis, lift the chest. Good, pressing to the feet. Inhale, rise up through the deep core strength. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Keep the legs as they are, four, five. Four, deep in your breath. Three, keep the left sits bone reaching down, the left fingertips reaching away from the sit bone. Four, two. And one, inhale, rise back up, straighten the leg, bring the back foot in a hair, trikonasana, pick up the chest, and exhale, hinge from the hip. Keep that distance from the lower belly, from the pubis to the lower belly, and bring the hand to the shin, reach out way through the arms, gaze up, or relax the head, four, five. Four. Three. Two. And press into the feet, inhale up gracefully and exhale, bend the front knee, we melt the arms down gracefully, push into the arms, pull the belly, bring the knee close to the chest, and then place the foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale forward and then up, press feet down, point the feet, pick up the chest, the chin, exhale, downward facing dog. Again, child's pose is an option, down dog is an option. You can bend the knees and do some hops. Or if you have a wall close to you, do the hops against the wall. Pull the belly in, push the hands down, widen the shoulder blades, gaze forward, pull the belly in, knees in, and then hips will lift over the, the hands. So that's the direction where you're going. Press into the hands and kick. If you come up, then you can straighten the legs. Keep pressing down into the hands, gazing down, wide, widen the shoulder blades, pull the belly in, four, five. If you're still kicking up, that's also a good exercise, four, four. 
you can keep up, kick up with one leg, then with the other. Then if you come up to the wall, push into the hands, four, three. Keep the legs straight, belly in, legs together, four, two. And then maybe reach the feet away, four, one. Come back to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward, and inhale, lower hop forward, half lift, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, Utkadasana, bend the knees, bring the arms up, reach up, and exhale, come up, interlace the fingers, half moons, open up the feet, hip distance apart, reach up through the hands, gaze up, and exhale, back bend first, four or five, pull belly in, hands towards the back, four or four, keep the hips coming forward, but suck lower belly in, lift it up, away from the pubis, four or three, Chin up, squeeze the delta, it's squeeze the traps. Four, two. And one, press into the feet to come up. Relax the head, reach up through the arms, and exhale to the right. Four, five, lateral stretch. Four, four, keep the lower belly in, lift up. Four, three, squeeze the elbows together, the wrists together. Four, two, press feet down, use the right hand to pull the left further to the right. And one, belly in, inhale, come up. Reach up, really reach up, and exhale to the other side, four, five. Activate the glutes. Four, four, side lower belly in, and lift it up. Four, three. Two. And one, inhale, come back up, reach up, release your hands, turn the palms to face up, press down into the feet, exhale, reach in, the belly in. And then again, open up the shoulders and gaze up, four, five. You're in a handstand, four, four. Press into the feet, lift up through the hands, four, three, two, and one, release your arms by your sides. Come to the wall. If the wall is not accessible, then repeat what we did before. So you want to keep your feet together for this one. Find your hands, place them at your lower back, and then exhale the lower belly in, reach in, and really push your lower back onto the wall. Bring your hands forward, Inhale, keep everything in. And exhale, really keep everything in. Turn your chin up, gaze up, and bring your arms up. Fists with the hands, reach up through the fists, four or five. Press down to the heels, pull the belly in, reach up, four, four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, reach higher up, and exhale, arms by your sides. Okay, last one. Again, you can do an L shape, so you can walk and bring the feet to an L, or you can jump up against the wall. If you're jumping up against the wall, you want to be as close to the wall as possible. You want to first relax the elbows, lift the hips over the hands, so bring the, hand, the hips forward, lift the heels, and then straighten the arms, really push into the hands. Gaze forward, so uh, 10 centimeters forward than the center point of the hands. Press into the hands, pull the belly in, keep the arms straight, bend the knees and we'll lift the hips over the hands. If needed, go with one leg up, otherwise both legs. Press into the hands, pull the belly in, and exhale. Everything in, push, come up, straighten the legs, feet together, point the feet, push into the hands, four or five. Again, straighten the arms, widen the shoulder blades, four, four. Keep the lower belly in, glutes active, four, three. Press strongly to the hand, lift up through the feet, four, two. Maybe you go off the wall, keep pressing into the hands, four, one. Slowly come down and come to child's pose. Good job. Whatever variation you went for, 
Now use child's pose as an active rest. Send the sit bones back, reach forward through the arms. Form fists with the hands again and reach forward through the wrists. So turn the knuckles to the ground and push forward through the wrists. Widen the shoulder blades, keep the lower belly in and breathe with the lower belly. Notice if your belly is pressing onto the thighs and exhale, pull your belly in and send it towards the chest. Keep your lower belly in as you're inhaling. Don't push onto the thigh. Exhale, send the sit bones further back, the wrists further to the front, widen the shoulder blades. And then relax the arms, bring your hands by your sides and come to a kneeling position, hands by your thighs. Press into the hands, pull the shoulders towards the ears, pull the shoulders back, and then reach the shoulder blades down the back. Keeping the shoulder blades down the back, bring the chin in and round the back. Push into the hands and lift the knees off the floor. Keep the tops of the feet on the ground. Press knuckles on the ground, externally rotate your shoulders, pull the belly in, and push to lift the knees for five. If possible, keep the knees close to the chest for four. Keep lifting the hips, knees close to the chest for three. Keep the lower belly in and curl the tailbone for two. Keep pressing down into the hands, strong straight arms for one. Slowly come down, very slowly come down with control and sit up. Relax your arms. Form fists with the Form a fist with the left hand and hug it with the thumb and index of the right finger and roll the fist around. Make it a gentle fist. Don't press too much. And then round the hand the other way. Make them circles. Once you do it both clockwise and anti-clockwise, try it with the right arm. Again, use this as an active rest. Stay focused. Keep the lower belly in and up. Feel that fire. Go clockwise and anti-clockwise to the fist. Okay. You can shake it off. Enhance by the thighs again. Pull the belly in. Shoulders up, back, and down as you round the back. We'll push down, straighten the arms, and lift the knees again. Push and lift, four, five. Knees closer to the chest, four, four. Bring one foot to one hip, four, three. Switch side, four, two. And then push, maybe you lift the feet, four, one. Try it. And then come down, pick up the chest. Sit up to sit on top of your toes. So curl the toes under, send your heels back, and sit to stretch the feet. If it's too much, keep some weight on the hands. If you have weight on the hands, turn one palm around and push uh, the top of the hand down to flex the wrist. If you're comfortable with the arms off, then open up the palms wide and then bring the fingers together and then open and close and go fast. Four, ten. Breathe slowly with the lower belly. Four, nine. Eight. Seven. If your hands are on the ground, switch hand. Bring the left top of the hand down. Four. Three. Go faster. Four, two. Really open up the fingers wide and one. Again, shake it off. Bring your feet to one side and sit down, cross the shins. Same action of knees close to the chest. You want the feet to come close to your mat. So you'll bring the hands to the ground and you'll bring the knees in and the heels in. Keep the chest proud, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. 
and curl the tailbone. And then from that length, flex the front of the spine, suck lower belly in and up, chest to the thighs, four, five. Keep the feet close, four, four. Three, two, and one. Relax for a second. Switch the cross of the shins. This time we'll try and lift the hips of the ground. So start with the same engagements. Lift the chest up and curl the six bones back. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Bring the knees close to the chest, the feet close to the hips. Then bring the hands to the ground in between the hips and the feet. Keep the feet on the hips so you have that uh, very small margin of distance in between and you place your hands. Press the hands down, keep the knees to the chest, the feet to the hips and push with the hips up, four, five. Keep knees close to the chest, four, four. Keep feet close to the hips, four, three. Lift one foot off the ground, four, two. Push, maybe you lift everything, four, one. Try it, and then I'm done. So that action is what you want to be able to jump forward and jump back, jump through the arms. So come to the front of the mat, press down, bring the knees in, the feet in. We'll cheat a bit now, and we'll use some momentum, but you want to use the same actions. So you want to keep the chest proud and then flex by pulling the lower belly in, lifting up and squeezing your pecs. You want to push down, keep the elbows in, and to really straighten the arms so you have, find some distance. And we'll use momentum, keeping the knees close to the chest, the feet close to the hips, and using that momentum, by straightening the arms, all you will do is that natural call for physics to happen, so that with that momentum and with that uh, contraction, the hips just move back, so it will look like uh, uh. So try it. Try it, maybe your feet won't go all the way back. Use some momentum, push into the hands, keep the knees close to the chest, the feet close to the body, and push. Uh, maybe your feet will just go a bit behind and then walk back. Hands under the shoulders, plank, elbows in, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale forward, press into the knuckles. Press tops of the feet, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale back. Bend the knees, gaze forward. So we want to jump through, press into the hands, wide and the shoulder blades. It's the same action. Think of jumping up again, just like what we just like we're doing before. So hips over the hands, push into the hands, straighten the arms, wide and the shoulder blades, straight arms, gaze forward, and then we bring the hips up. And then we bring the knees to the chest, we cross the shins, and we jump through. So don't overthink it. Push into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, pull the belly in, make a prayer, and jump. Maybe, again, you don't go all the way through, but you want to lift the hips up so that the feet come to the ground. If your knees came to the ground, it means you didn't lift the hips up because my hips now are low. So knees are up, the hips are up, and knees are up and then you walk through. Okay. Hands back, pick up the chest, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, pick up the chin. Point the feet, and then bring the knees in, heels in, keep the chest cropped, four, five. Lower belly in, pick up the chest, four, four. From here, maybe bring the legs up, four, three. Strong legs, four, two, strong hip flexors, Legs close to the chest. Four, one, low boat. Bring your lower back to the ground. Feet close to the ground, but not touching. Hands can be on the ground or straighten the arms. Four, five. Straighten the legs, pull your belly in and up. Four, four, shoulders back, shoulders down, shoulder blades towards the sacred. Four, three, keep breathing. Keep the lower back on the ground. Four, two. Okay, here we go. Belly in, come up, high, boat, four, five. Maybe the hands are on the ground, maybe the knees are back, four, four. Point the feet, four, three. But don't forget that fire, uh, four, two. And one, knees in, feet in, press onto the ground. Again, it's that hip flexor 
to bring you up and bring you to a low squat. So press down to the feet. Again, you can get some momentum and come up. If you want the knees together and the feet together, if you need to use your hands to find this position. And curl the tailbone back. Sag the lower belly in, lift it up. Ribs in, lift them up. And then from here, squeeze the knees together, squeeze the feet together, inhale the arms up, reach up, and exhale, twist to your left. Hands to the center of the chest, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, four or five. Four, keep the lower belly in and lift up, keep the hips square, four, three. Sack lower belly in, lift it towards the lower ribs, Lift lower ribs towards the chest and twist through the chest. Four, two. Hands to the center of the chest. Press onto the elbow, onto the, the knee to twist a bit more. And one. Release. Hands to the side. Elbows in. Side crow. Elbows in. Pull the knee round the back and gaze forward. We can stay here and keep rounding. Keep pressing down. If you're ready, lift one foot. And if you're ready, lift the other, four or five. If you want more, you can straighten the legs, four or four. Keep playing with what you have. Round the back, gaze forward, four or three. Maybe you do different shapes, four or two. And one. Slowly come back to center. Keep the belly in and lifting, chest up, and exhale, twist to the other side, four or five. Shoulders back. Shoulder legs down, four, four. Keep the lower belly in and lifting. Ribs in and lift and twist through the ribs. Four, three. Two. And one. Twist, elbows in, and find your side crow. Press into the hands. Remember what we were doing before, so uncurl tailbone, pick up the chest, and then flex by pulling lower belly in and rounding the back. Gaze forward. Maybe you lift one foot, maybe both. Four or five. Keep pressing the hands down and keep thinking to go forward rather than down. Four or four. Elbows in and keep moving forward. Maybe play with the legs. Four or three. Two. And one. Come back to center slowly. Belly in and up, hips in and back. Same action to jump back. Press into the hands, keep the knees glued to the chest, feet glued to the hips. We'll lift the feet with the glutes up and then we'll kick back. So press into the hands, straighten the arms. Inhale, lift up and exhale, kick back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Inhale forward and exhale. Bend the elbows. Come forward. Let's wind down with some gentle back bends. Arms by your sides. Chin down. Press the toes of the feet down strongly. Activate your glutes. Make your glutes forward. Tuck lower belly in. Lift it forwards. Close your floating ribs in and lift them forwards. Inhale, bring your chin forward, and then lift your chin up, four or five. Press into the hands, lift the shoulders up, and then pull them back, four or four. Pull the shoulder blades in, and then press them forward, four or three. Press into the pubis, and lift the glutes, four or two. Chest up, use the glutes, lift the feet up. Four, one, lower belly in and forward, 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 come down. Good job. Cobra, feet together, hands under the shoulders, elbows in. Press down into the feet, press strongly, lift the knees off the ground. Feel the glutes picking up and pushing forward into your kidneys. Feel your kidneys moving towards your ribs, your floating ribs. And then those floating ribs at the back reach forward. Chin forward and then chin up. Elbows in, shoulders back, 
shoulder blades down, shoulder blades in, and then shoulder blades forward. Keep the chin coming in and four, five. Press into the hands, pull belly in and forward, four, four. Keep pressing down into the feet, point the feet, four, three. Feel the glutes reaching forward, the lower belly reaching forward, four, two. Feel that fire in the lower belly, keeping your lower back safe and long. Keep lower belly in and forward, 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 and come. Turn around, lie face up. Bring your knees together to the chest again. Remember what we were doing before. So knees close to the chest, feet close to the hips. Bring your arms up, just like a crow. Pull the belly in and push up, four, five. You're doing your crow. Pull shoulders back, shoulder blades down, four, four. Heels in, knees in, four, three. Really push away through the hands, four, two. And one, use your belly strength to roll forward and go to crow. So press into the hands, elbows in. We can gaze up, uh, well, you won't gaze forward, push into the hands and find your crow. Four, five. You can bring the knees to the outside to make it more accessible or knees in the armpits. Four, four. Gaze forward, press into the hands. Eventually, you want the arms straight, feet to the hips. Four, three. Lower belly in, press knees forward, pull shoulder blades back. Four, two. And one. Push into the hands, lift the hips up, the feet up, and exhale, kick back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. Bend the knees, gaze forward, pull the belly in, and hop. Exhale, lie down. One way or another, find yourself lying down. Bring your knees to your chest. Send the sit bones back, bring the knees in, and then hug the knees with the left arm. Open up the right arm to the side, and bring that whole thing close to the chest, to the left. Open up the arm to the right. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and curl the tailbone towards the right hand. Inhale from the lower belly up to the crown of the head, and open the mouth, exhale out. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Inhale from the lower belly, in, lifting up, and exhale through the mouth. Knees to the chest, belly in, bring the right arm to the legs, Press the lower back to the ground and bring the whole thing to the right. Open up the left arm to the left. Pull shoulder blades down. Maybe the left arm is off the ground. That's fine. Keep the knees close to the chest. Four or five. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Reach out way through the left arm. Take a deep breath from the lower belly, lifting up through the crown of the head. Open the mouth and exhale. One more time. Bring the knees close to the chest, come back, straighten the legs. Suck lower belly in and up, sending your lower back close to the ground, roll the shoulder blades down the back, arms by your sides, and bring the chin in to find a long neck. Inhale, keeping the lower belly in, point the feet, reach uh, toes away from the crown of the head, open the mouth, and exhale, release, relax the body completely. Find complete stillness. And have all your awareness at that fire, that soothing fire. Acne is a digestive fire. It's an element within your body to help you digest. Digest food, thoughts, stories. For the next few moments, lie still and trust that the fire knows what needs to be burned. Relax and let it burn.
Yoga is a practice of truth. It's a practice of trusting the wisdom, the truth within, to simply lean over all the illusions, all the lies. So with your awareness there, and that wisdom and that truth, bring your awareness to your body, see it as a divine manifestation. And then watch your breath, watch the prana, the life force energy carried by the breath. And watch that prana rejuvenate, nurture, nourish the whole body. Inhale that prana all the way down to your toes, to your fingers. And exhale, allow that prana to turn into movement. Allow your fingers, your toes to move. In the rhythm of your breath, allow your head to move from side to side and gently wake up the whole body. Stretch, reach away, the knees to chest. Roll from side to side. Always aware of your strength, of your power. Come back to a seated position. We'll finish the practice sitting up tall. So when you're ready, you want to again stand the six bones back, pick up the chest, pick up the back of the skull, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and bring your hands to the center of the chest. From that fire, that strength, that abundance within, inhale deeply. And exhale, allow your head to bow down to your hands. Thank you for your strong practice, your beautiful practice. The strength within me honors and celebrates the strength within you. Namaste. Well done. We made it within the hour. People are clapping outside, so I'll give you the opportunity to also go and clap. It's eight o'clock. Good job, it was a strong practice. <laughs> if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know. And I hope to see you again. You're yeah.